Cargo ship engines are the unsung heroes of globalization. These colossal machines are the lifeblood of international trade, silently powering the vast vessels that carry over 90% of the world's goods. Their importance can be analyzed across three key areas. 1. Enabling global commerce. Cargo ships operate like giant mobile warehouses, traversing vast distances to deliver essential goods. Without powerful engines, these ships wouldn't be able to navigate the open seas, hindering the flow of everything from food and medicine to raw materials and manufactured products. Disruptions due to engine failures can cause delays and stockouts, impacting entire industries and economies. 2. Efficiency and Environmental Impact Modern cargo ship engines are marvels of engineering, constantly evolving to become more efficient. This translates to lower fuel consumption, reducing operating costs, and minimizing greenhouse gas emissions, a critical factor in combating climate change. Advancements in engine technology, like optimizations and alternative fuels like liquefied natural gas, LNG, are paving the way for a more sustainable maritime industry. Three, safety and reliability. The sheer size and power of cargo ships demand incredibly reliable engines. Engine failures at sea can have catastrophic consequences, jeopardizing the safety of crew, cargo, and the marine environment. Regular maintenance and adherence to safety protocols are paramount in ensuring smooth operation and reducing the risk of accidents. In conclusion, cargo ship engines are the backbone of global trade. Their efficient and reliable operation is essential for the timely delivery of goods, economic well-being, and environmental sustainability. As technology continues to improve, we can expect even more powerful and environmentally friendly engines to power the cargo ships of tomorrow. Regardless of whether you need an engine overhaul because of hours, time, or it is in plan you need to know it is done right. The first consideration is the content of the overhaul. Is it just a top-end, major overhaul, half-life, or to rectify damage after a failure? Next is where the work is to be carried out. Ideally, this would be in a fully equipped workshop, but sometimes this is not logistically possible or practical. For site overhauls, swing engines or swing assemblies can be a great way to reduce time scales and costs. Marine engine repair is one of the most important tasks carried on board a ship. It involves repairing and carrying out of routine maintenance tasks on the marine engine of the ship. The repairs are generally carried out by marine engine mechanics, famously known as marine engineers. Need of marine engine repair. Marine engine parts need to be checked on a regular basis to avoid breakdown or heavy loss caused by ship going off charter. Marine engine repairs are carried out by the marine engineer as per his basic understanding of the machine, sound troubleshooting knowledge, and correct techniques used for testing and overhauling. Moreover, there are several agencies around the world that provide services for marine engine repairs, which cannot be done by marine engineers on board the ship to lack of special equipments and manpower. 
Some examples of heavy maintenance of marine engine repairs are metal stitching or metal locking, recondition of piston, honing of liners, etc. Understanding marine engine repair. When we talk about marine engine repairs, they not just include maintenance and repair work on the mechanical parts of the engines, but also include repairs on various electrical equipments as well. Thus, marine engine repair is categorized in two parts, electrical and mechanical, for an effective performance of the marine engine and in order to prevent breakdown of the same proper procedures are to be followed as described in the manuals. Marine engine repairs have to be done at specific running hours as described in the planned maintenance system of the ship. On board ship there is a team of marine engineers or marine mechanics, along with crew ratings such as motorman, oiler, fitter, etc., to carry out the work of marine engine repairs. The team of engineers includes chief engineer, second engineer, third engineer, and fourth engineer. Chief and second engineer are management level officers whereas third and fourth engineers are operational level engineers. The chief engineer looks after different surveys that are to be carried out on the marine engine and also plans out when they are to be carried out. The second engineer plans the marine engine repair work that is pending or scheduled to be due soon. The second engineer also looks after main engine and different pumps in the engine room. The fourth engineer looks after the repairs of compressors and purifiers, whereas third engineer looks after the boiler and auxiliary engines along with the help of crew ratings. For electrical equipments, the repairs are carried out by a separate dedicated electrical engineer who looks after various motors, batteries, print card electronics, etc. Important points for marine engine repair. For marine engine repair, the most important thing is to make available several sets of spare parts on board the ship. If there is a shortage of any of these parts, then they need to be ordered by the respective engineer who is looking after the particular machinery. Some special considerations also need to be given to emergency, safety, and life-saving equipments. Marine engineer also have to make sure that all the equipments are working fine without any problem. External agencies such as Port State Control and Flag State will detain the ship if equipments like emergency generator, lifeboat engine, and firefighting system are not working properly. The agencies may fine the ship heavily for these abnormalities. For this reason, proper checks and routine schedule have to be maintained to avoid unwanted circumstances related to marine engines on board a ship.
crankcase inspection is a lot of work that it needs proper clearance and paperwork before proceeding. A proper immobilization certificate is to be taken and engines to be stooped, placards to be placed at the designated place with minute work in writing. To ensure safety, the main starting air valve to be shut and tagged, stop associated pumps, open indicator cocks, and engage in turning gear. In most chips, it is also required to fill the enclosed space checklist prior to taking the enclosed space permit. Once the crankcase door is opened and ventilated for quite some time, it's required to get in and inspect a few things. Look for any foul smell or sticky wax-like substance on the surface to find the microbial degradation of lube oil. Checks the crosshead, bearings, guides, gratings, pipelines, and connecting rod for signs of wear, cracks, or damage. Also, check for the possible oil leaks from the stuffing box area. Check for the overall quality of the sump oil looking for signs of metal particles and discoloration. At last, look for any loose connection of pipes and signs of insufficient lubrication in the form of dark spots. One of the best ways to optimize engine maintenance is to take a call with the running engine parameters. It is the duty of the watchkeeping officer to take note of engine parameters. For example, some blue boil level, the fuel oil level in a settling tank, lube boil pressure, lube boil temperature, and jacket water temperature. Furthermore, they also inspect lubrication of fuel rack assembly, lubrication of rocker arm, if applicable, air filters, and exhaust gas temperature. Maintaining the proper temperature of inlet and outlet jacket water temperature is important as it ensures the long life of the engine, reduces thermal stress, and lowers exhaust emissions. Similarly, keeping an eye on lube boil temperature and pressure helps detect any fault in the lube boil system. Having a functional lube boil system with good quality oil ensures the durability of the ship's main engine.